away from Nigeria and to parts of South Africa where we hear medical staff have been forced to turn away COVID-19 patients. There are not enough doctors and medical equipment is in short supply. Dr. Tobisa Fodo, a physician in the intensive care unit of the hospital in Port Elizabeth, said her team had been forced to accept only a quarter of people who needed treatment. Hundreds of people who died without receiving medical treatment have been buried in a cemetery in the city. The country has reported more than 300,000 confirmed coronavirus cases and 4,453 deaths. However, a report by the South African Medical Research Council has said the country had nearly 11,000 excess deaths over the past two months. Joining us now live is a South African-based doctor, Somia Gutam. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. What is South Africa looking like today? The figures are increasing. Yes, definitely the numbers are getting increased every day and the situation are getting quite tense and stressful. Of course, this is expected during this time, especially when it is a winter and lockdown is at ease. So it's a quite stressful situation currently in South Africa, but we are dealing with the situation as it's coming to us. This, this lack of acceptance of patients with COVID-19, what could be the ripple effect from this? Because it is from these, I, I suspect, I, I don't, you can confirm, um, if these are the figures that are reported officially, the ones that are being admitted to hospital. So does this, you know, have a ripple effect on the accounting of numbers? See, the numbers also, the statistics, what I'm also seeing, it's, I'm of course, seeing on the news and media and the internet. So, yes, of course, uh, it's a lot of number of cases are getting high and there is a less beds in South Africa. There is a less ICU. I can't comment on that because I think the specialists can comment on that situation more. But definitely, I think that it can have a uh, effect on the medical healthcare system as well because numbers are getting very high and there is a limited space and availability at this time during this pandemic. So does this uh, translate to you take care of yourself and hope you survive? Because if they're now being, they're not allowed into the hospitals anymore, what becomes of those who actually have COVID-19 but can't access treatment? So yes for us also it's very quite difficult situation because uh, as a healthcare worker all the medical staff they have to take a very high care precautions and things are not easy not only in south africa but i believe everywhere things are getting worse but i also believe that the situation why we are sitting with currently is due to that each and every individual should understand about the severity of this pandemic. So I think it's not only the responsibility of medical healthcare worker. Yes, we are here to save life, but also people should understand the severity of this pandemic and they should take responsibility as well, like taking high precautions in all the directions. All right, what, what, what is some of the likely causes of the surge being experienced in South Africa? Well, I think in my opinion, I think the education, maybe the lack of education, the awareness, because uh, people are not understanding the severity of this pandemic. They're still taking the things very lightly. And of course, the lockdown is at ease. So more things are open. The people are going out. Like a lot of things are open. So... I believe it's lack of education mostly because people need to understand that this is a very serious pandemic which can take away someone's life. So people are still taking this COVID-19 as just a normal flu, especially in the community area where they're not really understanding. So I believe it's mostly the lack of education. What about the healthcare practitioner? Because we know that most of uh, your colleagues are getting infected with the virus. How is the government taking care of the welfare of practitioners like yourself? Yes, definitely. A lot of the medical healthcare practitioners are getting affected. They're getting uh, symptomatic. They're getting COVID-19. 
but um, I can just say that we all are doing our jobs, we are doing our responsibility to save life, and we are getting a lot of protective gears like masks, gloves, aprons, uh, vision shield, goggles to protect ourselves. So definitely it's a quite challenging time for all of us, for all the medical practitioners, but we are doing our best as much as we can. All right, thank you very much. And your best is being appreciated by everyone watching. Thank you so much for your time.